Hello. So I'd previously shown in another video how to display X, Y coordinates of shots or anything really in Tableau. But I wanted to take a look and show you how you would do something similar in Excel. So I've got a bit of sample data here, relatively straightforward. We have the event type. So whether it was a goal, miss, attempt, save, or this could say anything really. Um, the team, the player, the body part they used, and then the XY. Now it's pretty straightforward to visualize all of this data in one XY coordinate or one XY scatter plot. But the problem is you can't distinguish between, in a color format anyway, which was saved and which was uh, missed and things like that. So if, if what I want to be able to show you is how you would break that out, first of all, um, so that you're able to quickly visually see what events were scored and what events were missed um, by color, first of all, and then you can obviously filter it down. So we'll get straight into it. Um, I'm gonna, first of all, just make this into a table of data. So that's, that's formatted as a table. And the most important step, I suppose, in this, actually visualizing it in terms of creating the graph is, is relatively straightforward. But the thing we, we have to be able to do is distinguish between the coordinates that belong to misses and the coordinates that belong to a goal. In order to do that, we have to divide this out. So what we actually have to do is create, is sort of repeat these x, y coordinates, but in this column, if it's a goal, and in this column, if it's, if it's a miss. So for example, I'm gonna call this goal x, goal y, and miss x, miss y, okay? And I'm gonna do a really straightforward if function, okay? So, um, you can, you can check out the Excel course that, that I have available online. If, if this is brand new to you, um, I, I'd highly recommend that. But uh, just to start it off, so equals if. So if this is a goal, so if this equals a goal and we put the goal in quote marks because it's text, then I would like this coordinate, okay? So sorry, if that's a goal, I would like this coordinate here. If it's not a goal, I want zero. So I don't want it to show anything in this column because this is my goal X column. Okay, and I'm going to hit enter on that. And then I repeat that if this cell here is equal to goal, give me the Y value. And if it's not, give me zero because I'm not interested in it in this column. So you can see there the first goal we have here is the first time the coordinate appears, 75.1. So it seems to be working quite well. And we're gonna do the same here, but just in a slightly different way. So if this is a goal, well then I don't want anything. I want zero because this is my miss column, okay? So if this is a goal, the X will go here, not here, all right? But if it's not a miss, so if that statement is false, I want that value there, okay? And we'll do the same again. So if that is equal to goal, give me the Y. Otherwise, give me, sorry, give me the zero. Otherwise, give me the Y, okay? And you should see visually that that works. So this is, is, a, is not a goal. So we shouldn't have anything in the goal columns and we should have the values in the miss columns, okay? So you should never have a repeat. That formula is, lo is looking good so far. Okay, so what I want to do now is, is simply go ahead and visualize it. I've broken my data into the various columns or what's gonna become series. So this would be series one and series two. Um, so I'm, I'm ready to, to visualize the data. So what I'm gonna do is highlight um, my goals column. So you can see all the data is highlighted in there. And I'm gonna go insert scatter plot, okay? So this is my scatter plot. This is what the data is gonna be visualized like. And a couple of things I'm going to do to tidy this up. So I'm going to format the axes. So I know that my data, the range of my data is between 0 and 100. Okay, so I want it to be between 0 and 100. Uh, I'm also going to format this axis. And I know again that this is between 0 and 100. You, you will need to know that from your data source or if you're collecting itself, what, what is the range of, of the data you have. Okay, so that's looking quite good. Let's get rid of all of the lines and uh, I don't need that in my graph and I don't want the chart title in my graph. So I'm now left with a, effectively a blank scatter plot. Okay, so again, format plot area. I'm going to go to fill and I want to fill it with a picture. Okay, now mine is defaulted to, to the football pitch, but you would just select the file and you can select any image you want. You can see it, it will basically create any, 
uh, sorry, it's called soccer. Okay, so that's my soccer pitch. And what I want to do is make sure that it fills the entire graph area. Okay, and just make sure it looks right. From a scale point of view, okay. You can mess about with that and get it a little bit more accurate. But we can see the, the, the semblance of this. We've now plotted where those goals have happened on top of a pitch. Okay, and now you might want to edit the data series. So again, I've right clicked on a data point and just format data series. And again, we're gonna look at the fill options. We're gonna look at the marker and the marker options. Okay, and you can, you can use various different ones. It'll select an automatic. We can do a built-in so we can have, you know, square for goals and dashes for something else, whatever you want. So I'm gonna stick with this circle. I'm gonna make it a size seven. Let's make it a nice bright orange and give the border a white border, okay? Um, and you can play around with the various different um, air spots on, on this, okay? So I shouldn't have done that, so sorry. So orange and orange and white. And Let's make it a seven, okay? So that's my first data series added in. I can see the goals overlaid on that. So the next thing I want to do is go back and select the misses. So right click on the graph and select data and we're gonna add in a series. This is gonna be called miss. And now it's asking me where are the X values for the miss? Okay, so the X values are there. And where are the Y values? So again, just go here and select the Y values. Okay, and click OK. And click OK. And now when I scroll back up to the top, I get the misses overlaid on top of this. Okay, and again, we can right click to format the data series, go to fill, marker, marker options. And again, you can change the color. You can even use an image if, if you wanted. So if you had a, if you created an image of a, of a football or of an X or something in PowerPoint, you can save it as an image and, and, and recreate it here. And um, I don't, let's use an X and let's make it black. Okay. Something like that. Okay. You can, you can obviously play around with the visuals of that. So that's how you would separate out one on top of the other. Now for the next bit, I'm going to cut and paste it onto a new page. So this is like, you don't need to see all the, the behind the scenes data or a coach or a player doesn't. They might just want to be able to see the graph and then be able to filter that graph. So one of the neat things in creating it as a table is we can add what are called slicers in here. So if I click on the table somewhere and then click the design ribbon, I can do insert slicer. So in this case, I want to slice by team and by event type and by player okay i'm going to select those and again i'm going to cut and paste them onto this this page okay and you can obviously format these and make them look nice and pretty but just this is a really quick example okay so we can set this to two columns, which looks well. Okay. And now I have a XY scatter plot with the data points separated, you know, between misses and goals immediately looking at it from that point of view. And now I can filter. So if I just want to see Arsenal's data or Chelsea's or Everton's or Leighton Baines, I, I can see all of that. Okay. So I can see all their players. So it's a very quick way to take, if you have access to XY data, to be able to plot it in Excel. Um, somebody doesn't have to be able to see or do anything with this, this raw data effectively. They're just on a page, they have a visual, and now that's something that they can filter themselves. So I hope that was helpful. And just before you go, just a quick reminder that on my website, thevideoanalyst.com, you will be able to see an Excel for Analyst course so there's about almost 10 hours of video tutorials on Excel 
uh, covering a wide range of topics. If you're starting from the beginning, there's stuff on the basics right up to VBA and things at the end. So I'd really recommend you check that out. Uh, it's run by Excel Tricks for Sports um, and myself. Um, and we've got some great feedback on it so far. So I'd highly recommend you check that out.